Today I'm going to show you how to edit all white in Lightroom. Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to edit all white in Lightroom. If you look at white, white tends to be a tricky color to edit. If you have too much white, then you'll introduce like clipping and then the highlights will be blown out in the image. But if you have too little white, then you won't get that white aesthetic that you're looking for. So learning to edit white can be a bit tricky, but it's really easy to do and I'll show you how to do it. If you look at this image right here, you can see the background is mostly white. I've added some color in the background here. And then in the foreground, there's the subject and then the pavement. And so if we look at it quick before, you can see that over here is pure white. It's kind of blown out a little bit. And this is leaning towards more like a warmer tone since that's how the camera had shot it. And then down here, it's kind of warm as well. So I wanted to make this more like a white and then fix up some of the colors. So if we look at an after, you can see it's much better. This looks a lot better. There isn't the blown out highlights over here. And overall, I've made the image look a lot better. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials. And let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you'd like to see. I went ahead and made a virtual copy just to get started with a clean edit. The first thing I'm going to do is start by adjusting the white balance. You can see the image is a little bit warm, so I'm going to bring that down to the cooler side. There we go. I'm also going to adjust the tint just a little bit towards the green. I'm going to decrease the exposure just a little bit since it's already well exposed. Don't want it to be really bright, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. I'm also going to increase the contrast since I want the really contrasty look as well. I'm going to bring down the highlights so you can see more detail right there. You can see the clipping kind of went away, but if you look right here, this is still pure white. And that's something that you can't really edit in post since pure white is pure white, so you can't bring that down. The best thing to do is shoot it properly in camera, always expose for the highlights so that you're able to get that proper. Then with the shadows, I'm going to bring those up a little bit too. The whites I'm going to bring down just so we don't have too much and that'll help with the uh, whites up here. And then the blacks I'm going to bring up so we can see some more detail in the shadows. And increase the texture and then some of the clarity and also some of the dehaze to get rid of some of the fading. I'm going to bring down the vibrance just a little bit and then bring up the saturation. So if we look at just a quick before and after, you can see I fixed the white balance, kind of adjusted the colors a little bit and did a lot of the basic edits. Now we're going to move on to the tone curve. On here, I'm going to be doing a S curve. So I'm going to create three points, one of the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So I'm going to bring down the shadows just a little bit. I don't want it too dramatic. And then bring over the midtones and then bring up the highlights and so you can see just by bringing up the highlights i was able to increase the brightness there but if i do it a lot more you can see it introduces that clipping again so i don't want to do it too much just bring it just a little bit down there we go and then i'm going to clip the whites and then bring up the shadows there we go so that increased the contrast a lot and helped bring out the subject as well now we're going to move on to the HSL with the reds, oranges, and yellows going to fix the skin tones since you see they're more on like the orange yellow side and will make them look a lot better. And so I'm going to start by increasing the reds over towards like an orange and then decreasing the orange and with the yellow I'm going to bring that slightly towards the green. Now with the saturation, I'm going to bring down the reds and bring down the orange. And so you can see that kind of helped with the skin tones and the hair color. And then I'm going to bring down the yellows. There we go. Now with the luminance, I'm going to decrease the reds. Increase the orange just so the skin tones kind of stand out a little bit more. And then bring up the yellows. There we go. So that just helped fix up the skin tones a little bit. 
Now we're going to be moving on to the background right here. So this does look like white, but white tends to have like a hint of aqua and blue in it. So I'm going to fix those colors up as well. So I'm going to bring this green all the way towards like blue and aqua. And then with the aqua, I'm going to bring that over towards the blue. There we go. And the blue I'm going to bring up a little bit. There we go. Let's slightly added some blue over here and kind of made the whites look a lot better. Now with the saturation, I'm going to decrease the saturation just a little bit of the green. And then bring down the aqua and the blue. There we go. Now with the luminance, I'm going to bring up the luminance for the greens. And then make the aquas and the blues a bit brighter too, just so you can see a little bit more over here. Now with the purple and magenta, I'm going to bring the purple over towards like the blue. There we go. And then bring the magenta towards the red. I'm going to decrease the saturation for both of those. And then decrease the luminance. There we go. So that fixed a lot of the colors. You can see the skin tones are like too orange and there isn't a lot of color in the background. So I brought that and made this a bit more white and overall made the foreground look a lot better. So now we're going to move on to the color grading. So this color grading is close to split toning. They updated in the new Lightroom update. So I'm going to be going through each of them. So they've also added the midtones. Shadows and highlights remain the same. So first we're going to do shadows. And so with this, I'm going to be adjusting the hue slider over towards like a blue teal almost. Maybe around there. And then I'm going to increase the saturation just a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to move on to the midtones. So with the midtones, I'm going to be adjusting that towards like a teal. There we go. So with this, you can also look at a before. So if you click this, you can see the before and the after. So this added a lot of the blue look to the white over here. And so that helps bring that out as well. Now moving on to the highlights. The highlights I'm going to be going towards more like an orange or red. I'm going to bring that over towards about right there. There we go. And so this overall just added more color to the whites and also made the foreground a lot better. Now we're going to be moving on to the detail. I want to sharpen the image, so I'm going to increase the sharpening and then press alter option to mask it towards the edges of the building, the subject. There we go. Also going to decrease the noise just a little bit and then decrease some of the color noise. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to move on to the camera calibration. So with the camera calibration, this is just going to fine tune the colors a little bit more. I'm going to bring down the reds and then increase the saturation. And so you can see that helped bring out the skin tones just a little bit more on the subject over here. Now with the greens, I'm going to bring that down and then decrease the saturation on that. There we go. Now with the blue primary, I'm gonna be decreasing that. There we go, and then decreasing the saturation. There we go. And so that just helped fine tune the colors a little bit more, especially with the skin tones in the subject. So this is the final image. I was able to edit the white to make it look a lot better. If we look at a quick before, you can see it was pretty warm and it wasn't looking in that white aesthetic we're going for. So I edited the colors and made it look a lot better. Added just a little bit of blue in the midtones over here. And overall, this image looks really nice with the white. And so that's how you edit all white in Lightroom. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to edit all white in Lightroom. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
and also subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials and let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.